It's about time I taught you how to navigate through your file in Vim. We've talked about how you can go back and forth inside the same line super quick, which is great. It's going to make you lightning fast and all that. But what do you want to do? What do you do if you want to search further down to other lines and stuff? What are you going to like go and mouse down using the scroll wheel? Come on. That's that's a scroll wheel, by the way. That's a bad idea, especially if you're in terminal, because that's just going to make everything look weird. If you've never done that, try it. I'll wait. It's it's bananas, man. So what do we do instead? Well, if you're a smart programmer or just any person who uses text, hopefully you use control F like a madman because control F saves you mountains of time. Um, otherwise known as the, the search function to find, you know, something, any bit of text. And so Vim has its own type of control F inside. And I'm going to teach you that right now. So let's go over to the file. Let's go to the top using a command I haven't taught you yet. <laughs> so um, what do we do? Control F is two keystrokes. Vim actually saves you a keystroke and you hit, well, just one thing in the form of forward slash. Now look down at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen and you will notice that a wild forward slash has appeared. And so we can then type whatever we want. Let's type the word the, for instance. And if we're here at the very top, first line, first character, we hit enter, it searches downward in the file for the next occurrence of the word the. What if that's not the one we want? What if we want one further down? Well, I'm very glad you asked that question. I'm just about to tell you. So if we want to go further down, if we want to go to the next occurrence, the next occurrence will be well brought to us if we hit the letter N, N for next, right? You got this. So N will take us further down. N, 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 N. Lots of fun. Now, quick sidebar. Bring it on in. Shh, secret. So oftentimes in Vim, if you have a command that takes you in a certain direction, like N, for instance, oftentimes, not all the time, if you hit shift with that same key, it'll take you in the opposite direction. You got me? So... If N continues to make us search forward in the file, shift N will take us backwards in the file. So this is useful if you hit N a bunch because you got super excited for some reason and uh, you missed it and you can go back. Uh, it'll save you a lot of time. That's great. All right. So using this shift logic again, this crazy kooky shit, we can take all three of these concepts that I just uh, showed you and flip them on their heads. So forward slash takes you forward into the file further down shift forward slash or question mark if you're normal uh takes you back the other way so it's the same as searching upwards so let's do that right now uh shift forward slash control uh question mark v you look down you see it's down there hit enter and you see that now searched upwards now all the polarities have been reversed the stars have aligned so if we hit n now it'll continue to take us that same direction up in other words so and 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 now goes upwards and if we hit the top it'll wrap and go to the bottom uh let's keep going a little bit more shift n and now you got this shift n takes us the opposite direction now so quick recap forward slash takes you forward through the file n will look for the next occurrence you know in that same direction shift n takes you the opposite way now shift forward slash or question mark makes you look backwards through the file. N takes you the same way, and Shift N will make you go the opposite way. We cool? We cool. I'll see you later.